The best way to start any large home renovation project is to understand what you are working with. Houses are big complicated systems and they change every year. So to understand how your house is changing, it's a good idea to have a home energy audit. Questions people typically have are, what is a home energy audit? What are the types of things that it finds out? And how much does it cost? This is what we're going to find out today. Let's go. Shervin Akavi is a senior energy consultant with Greensaver. He will be performing the energy audit on Paul and Marissa's home and he's going to answer all our questions about how they get their information and what it tells us. Hey Shervin, how are you? I'm good, Cliff. Okay, well it looks like you have everything set up here. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. I've set up the blow door, which is the device to calculate the leakage rate of the house so that we can say whether the house is super leaky or moderately leaky or airtight. Okay, so once we turn on the fan, we can take a walk around and see where these leaks are coming from. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. So we've walked around the house and it looks like we may have found a leak. Shervin, tell us a little bit about what we found here. Um, with the blow door sucking air out of the house, we can pinpoint the real air leak locations here in the house. As you can see, the smoke here is lingering around, not moving much, but as we move down, yeah, suddenly you really see it moving there. That's right. So this is the spot where we are losing warm air to the outside in winter. Right, and I guess there's a common misconception too amongst people in thinking that when they see leaks like this, they think it's the actual window that needs replacing, whereas a lot of the times it could actually be the weather stripping under the trim. And that's very easy to address. You just caulk it and seal it, and this way you keep the warm air inside. Okay, let's go find another one. Okay, so we've come to one of the more typical places you're going to lose some air in your house. Shervin, can you tell me where we are right now? Uh, we're looking at the attic hatch. Uh, this is, as you said, uh, one of the typical air leakage uh, spots in a house. It's also very easy to address. Just weather strip it or use removable caulking. So if you need to go into the attic, you can. Okay. Now we know that an energy audit doesn't all look at the leaks of the house. What else does an energy audit do? We need also to know how much insulation is in the house, in the walls, in the attic, in the basement. And basically I have to have a look uh, and see uh, whether there is any insulation or if yes, how much is there and what's the potential for an upgrade. Okay, so let's have a look and see how much let's is up go there. Into the attic. This attic insulation is typical of a 30-year-old home and could use an update. We'll talk more about this in the home envelope video. Right now, let's go see what Shervin is doing in the living room. As part of measuring the insulation level of the house, we want to now check the, the walls, Shervin. So how do we do that? I've opened the electrical outlet here and I can poke in and see whether there is insulation. Yes, there is. And if there is, how much insulation is there? And so by doing this, you can actually obtain exactly what type of a value of insulation is there. That's right. I'm looking at three and a half inches of uh, fluffy bat insulation, which is equal to R12. And R12 seems to be more or less the typical, the typical value for the suburban North American homes that's built right. 20 to 30 years ago. That's right. And that's okay. This is not the top priority to increase this insulation level. Uh, there are much more other uh, opportunities around the house to uh, save energy. Okay, so we've measured the air leakage rate, we've checked our insulation levels, and now we're on to our last component of the energy audit. And Shervin, please explain what that is. At this point, I'm looking at the furnace, I'm looking for the efficiency of this furnace, and I want to determine whether it's worthwhile upgrading it or not. Okay, so what are we actually looking for when you uh, open the, the door to the furnace? I'm looking at the spec plate, which gives me an information uh, about the efficiency. And I'm looking at this, and this is a low efficiency furnace. So in terms of the energy audit, if they did upgrade their furnace, they would be uh, saving a lot of uh, money. That's right. I will be telling them how much energy they will be saving right. by upgrading this furnace. All right. Now, are there other appliances that you check also other than the furnace? Besides the furnace, I will be also checking the water tank and also the cooling system. Okay, so we've walked around the house, we've collected all our data. Now what do we do with all of that data, Shervin? 
With that collected data, I'm going to go to the office and model the house in a software and I will also model some retrofits that uh, we identified here in the house and uh, I will be able to tell the client how much they will be saving by tackling each of those upgrades. Your house as it is rates uh, around 58 on the Energuide scale. This Energuide scale goes from 0 to 100. 100 is not achievable. New houses are rated around 64, 65, and very efficient houses are around 80, 82. With the upgrades that I'm proposing, we can get your house up from 58 to 76, which considering the age of the house, it's very good in terms of energy efficiency. As you know, I did also the air leakage test. The air leakage rate of your house is about 4.1 with a leakage area approximately 15 inches by 15 inches. Now, with all the upgrades that I have modeled for your house, we are looking at a total savings of 53% on your energy consumption, which translates also uh, to 53% reduction uh, of your heating bill. So that's our energy challenge. We're going to try to reduce their gas bill by 50%. We're also going to reduce their electricity consumption by the installation of a new furnace, new high efficiency appliances, new windows, and new insulation. In Canada, the energy audit is a practice regulated by the federal government. Any company you hire should be a certified service organization, and they will send a trained energy advisor to complete the audit. The only question that remains is how much does it cost? For a house like this, the initial assessment costs about $325. After all the work has been done, you'll need a follow-up assessment which costs $175. All in, we're looking at about $500. Not bad considering the amount of energy savings over the next year would be in the thousands. Now that we've identified all the changes we want to make to the home, we're going to complete all the work and we're going to come back in a few weeks to do our second energy assessment, where we'll find out how much more efficient the home is and how much they'll be saving on their bills.